Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density and I have lost 60 pounds in the process. I adore this way of eating and I wanna show you every single day what I am eating, how I make this lifestyle work for me as a busy mum, and just like grocery lists, meal plans, all the tips and tricks that I have found are incredible for weight loss to build up healthy habits um, that actually keep this way of eating sustainable and keep the weight off for life. Anyway, I am joined by my little Ron Ron over here. Mwah, she's a little bit tired. So I'm just gonna kneel down because I don't know, yeah. You're on a very low table, so I have to either squat or kneel down, so I'll do this. Um, so, join me on a day of eating. I've got a very messy kitchen and a very noisy kitchen, which is why I'm not starting in there yet this morning. Um, but I do want to take you in there now because we have just received our Riverford order and we've laid it out everywhere. So I want to show you what we've got before I can put it away and before I can actually make breakfast. And I'm actually pretty hungry because I had did a mega workout last night. So, let's take you through to the kitchen and I'll show you what we're working with. So if you're new here, we get all of our stuff ordered from Riverford, which is an online organic uh, food delivery service, fresh stuff. Yeah, so we get all of our stuff delivered from there every single Wednesday. Um, it's handy because I don't have to go to the shops and buy a massive amount of food while Robbie's screaming. And also it's nice to have organic uh, for us anyway. So right, let me show you what we are getting this week. And I go through a lot of produce, keep that in mind. Um, but actually it looks pretty minimal this week because they didn't have any kale. Okay, so let me show you what we have got. Starting off with a good bunch of sweet potatoes. Now, I have found that these go a little bit moldy sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrub them and cook them all now, and then we'll eat them throughout the week. But also I was thinking maybe some sweet potato chips for breakfast, maybe, I'm not quite sure. I've got a massive big bag of carrots. I love these carrots so much. I'm addicted to carrots. We get a 1.5 kilo, but I've realized by you know two thirds through the week, I have no carrots left. So actually next week I'm upping the carrot quantity. We're still figuring out quantities and stuff. Um, I've got loads of lovely courgettes going on here. Again, I ran out of the courgettes by like Monday. So I'm gonna get another bag of courgettes to like double up on that. Now these babies, oh my God, these potatoes are just so delicious. We did some mash last night and it was the creamiest mash in the entire universe. I could have eaten it every single day forever. So I've got three bags of potatoes. It sounds outrageous, but I definitely will go through them. How many, how many, what is it, what is it? It's a 1.5 kilo, so I, yeah, I've got a lot of potatoes basically. Um, we have a purple cabbage going on here. Again, I need more purple cabbage. So next week I'm ordering two. Some red onions, don't really need those because I've already got some in my potato drawer, but uh, we forgot to take them off. Um, I've got one thing of tomatoes, two things of mushrooms, that's for like mushroom gravy um, or just stir fries or whatever. I think a mushroom risotto might be quite nice this week. Um, loads and loads of broccoli. Now, that, this might look like a large amount of broccoli. Actually, I could go through so much more, but it won't fit in my fridge. So I'm just going to get this for now, and then I'm going to have to do a broccoli top up in the middle of the week. That's just what I'm going to have to do. One bag of lovely leafies, mixed leafies. Now, this is for our nem nems, which we're probably going to have tomorrow night, so that'll be yummy. I've got three cucumbers. Um, we actually needed more cucumbers, so for next week, I'm going to order four cucumbers. I've got four little avocados here. These all need to ripen, but they don't take very long to ripen, actually. Okay, so then we've got two little bags of these. I don't actually know what they are. Easy peelers, clementines, satsumas. I don't know. Is it the same thing? Probably not. Um, I've got a few little passion fruits here because James got that for me. It's a special treat. I've got some more apples and I've got some more pears. As the year goes on, there'll be more variety in Riverford and then I'll get different fruit. So next week, we're, for example, getting some grapes. And I've got three things of bananas. Again, I don't think this is enough bananas for us because I never am able to freeze bananas because um, we just go through them so fast. So anyway... Yeah, we're missing all of our kale because I just didn't have any, but we would naturally have like five, six bags of kale because James and I both really love the kale. So that is our rather modest uh, shop this week. Um, it did come to £100. Obviously, you don't have to go organic. That is purely because we're going organic, that it is so expensive. You can keep the price much, much lower. However, what I am trying to do is when we used to go to Morrison's, I used to spend about £100 on all of our massive shop, but I, I think I used to get loads of like other stuff as well. I don't even know what like yogurts and just like so many different bits and I don't even know what it was. Um, but I'm trying to really minimize that in order to prioritize the organic veggies. So you can kind of swap and change things as you go. Um, and I'm kind of learning to do that. So I do need to go to Morrison's today. Um, but I'm, I've got a very 
short list of oh, here i've got a very short list of things to get usually this is like a massive list so i'm trying to keep that side of it really minimal um anyway so that is my plan um yeah so anyway that's what we got today so if you want to see what i actually end up doing with all this good stuff mainly just eating it as veggies and fruit if i'm honest um but you can check out the next week's worth of videos and see what i do with it i am however really pleased because this week we have eaten all of the veggies that we ordered last week like where there's basically nothing in there okay fine there's one bag of cake but basically we've done pretty well so i'm really pleased about that the other thing I did this morning because I have just run out of chickpeas is while I was making Abe's breakfast, put a batch of chickpeas on. So now that I'm back from the school run, my chickpeas are ready to rumble. So that's really exciting. Um, so I'm going to spend a bit of time sorting out this whole fridge, um, trying to figure out if we need all of this stuff. I don't really know. Um, and yeah, let's let's sort this out. Let's get all the fresh stuff in there. Oh, I did just have an idea, though. You see these quinoa, leftover quinoa wraps that I made. And I got some leftover cheese sauce from last night's cheesy pasta. I think I'm going to put those two together and make myself a delicious pizzery lunch. So that is lunch done already. I just need to do some veggies and then let's throw some stuff on the top. So I'm super pleased about that. Um, anyway, I'm going to do all those things and I'll let you know when I do some eating. I'm going to have veggies this morning and I know exactly what I'm going to have. I'm going to have purple cabbage and carrots because i've been craving that like there's no tomorrow okay guys so i've got my veggies together this is my massive batch of purple cabbage carrots i've thrown in loads of chickpeas into the cabbage mix and i've put some hummus on top and the reason why i've done that is because i'm not having any oats this morning i'm having sweet potato and then apple and pears so i wanted to make sure i had some more starch in because i thought one sweet potato isn't quite enough so i've loaded up on the beans there so anyway that is my plan i'm gonna go and stuff this in my face right now and then I'll show you my other weird concoction when I have it. I've got my breakfast part two put together. The sunlight is really strange. Okay, so I've got loads of sweet potato fries. They would have been crispier if I'd put maple syrup, but I chose not to. Um, and then I've got my caramelized apple and pear compote. And I just decided to whack it on a couple of quinoa wraps because I thought that could be nice. Um, I do have some leftover compote and I'm just going to put it on top of my sweet potato fries and have it like a kind of sweet nacho kind of vibe. Anyway, that's veggie breakfast part two. Super low calorie density, very tasty. I'm very excited to dig in, so I'm gonna go and do that right now. Okay, so this is actually a really good creation. This quinoa wrap with the like sweet filling is so yummy. You can obviously take it any direction, but mm, it works so, so, so nicely. But I'm getting a little bit carried away because I haven't eaten my veggies yet. So first let's, let's remove that and let's eat the veggies. Hello everyone, it's now one o'clock and Romy and I have just come back from a Morrison's shop. She is adorable. She's helping me get everything out of the bags and we're just laying it out so that we can show you. Look, look, oh, Roms, you're so helpful. And when we were in the shop, she just wanted to help with everything. She's such a good little helper. It's amazing when you let your tiny little people get involved with things. They just want to be like you, it's so cute. So I got everything on a list. I stuck to the list perfectly. Apart from there were loads of discounted bananas, which I just had to get because I needed to freeze some more bananas because I'm desperate for frozen banana things. I'm not quite sure. I'm just really in the mood for like a banana ice cream or just banana smoothies, banana-y things. Um, so, um, and I got a ridiculous quantity of frozen fruit because I'm sick of running out of frozen fruit. I feel like it's the one thing that you always have as a good backup. Um, and we, we don't buy a ridiculous amount of fruit from Riverford. It's mainly apples, bananas, pears and oranges. So... The frozen fruit is where I really get my excitement. So anyway, so I, I went hard on the frozen. So I'm distracting Romy with a tennis ball and a little ball that she can throw stuff in while I do this. So wish me luck. Okay, so this is a um, grocery haul round two. Right, so first and foremost, I have run out of garlic for the past few days. And this is my vital stuff because this is how I make everything taste extra delicious. Is my little frozen garlic cubes. It's just pure where is it? It's just pure garlic with nothing else. And I, these are a lifesaver for me because I'm lazy <coughs> rascal. Okay, now let's get into all this frozen stuff. So I am loving the mixed berry wonky stuff. Um, and this is great for like I chick the ice creams and smoothies and all of those good things that I absolutely love. I've got a blueberry. I've got a raspberry. I've got two mangoes. And I've got two cherries because I really wanted to do a chocolate cherry ice cream. And I might do that for lunch. Not sure. Then, this is something I've never really bought or tried before. But I thought I'd just get some cauliflower rice to mix into different things. Either mix it into rice to get more veggies. Mix it into a stir fry. Or, I've never tried it, I don't think, with uh, porridge. So, I thought I could try it. Splash out and try it in some porridge. You're right down there, Roms. Yeah, good girl. 
Um, then we ran out of edamame yesterday, so I need some more edamame. Then I was really thinking about that lovely spinachy uh, sushi style salad -y thing that I had last night. Um, so I bought some uh, frozen spinach so I could make that again because that was really, really delicious. I got a cabbage and some desiccated coconut um, for our Indian because we're going to do a lovely cabbage thoran and that's one of my favourite things. I got another purple cabbage because um, I love it so much and I've nearly finished that full purple cabbage this morning. My discounted bananas for freezing and ice cream purposes. I'm very excited about that. Four tins of chopped tomatoes. That is for our Indian and for Mexican. Um, I've got two toasts foods that's mainly for like sushis and nem nems and just for the kids in general i've got um the kids some peanut butter 100 peanuts and james's almond milk and my soya milk so that is round two everything we are getting so sorry about the noise but this is one of the things that keeps me on track every single week is doing a shopping list mostly sticking to it but basically sticking to it okay so i know i bought some bananas but basically sticking to your shopping list then that's the only stuff that you actually have in your house you don't have any junk because you haven't bought any junk and i know that if i get snacky at night or something i'm wandering into the kitchen i know if i see bars of chocolate or if i know if i've got ice cream in my freezer for example uh, like like ben and jerry's or something i know i'm gonna eat that so the way i stop myself from eating that is just by not having it in so having a fresh clean environment is just so vital for um for success in this way of eating for me personally anyway i don't have the willpower to say oh no i'm only gonna have one bite of that or i'm not gonna have any of that i, I can't do that um that's not me um so that's how i do it i keep a fresh environment keep all of my favorite fruits and veggies accessible out visual that's why i have this like fruity area so that I can see my fruit. And so if I walk into the kitchen and I'm a bit snacky, I look at that fruit and that's the stuff I'm gonna grab. If you have biscuits and chocolate bars on the counter, that's obviously the stuff you're gonna have to, you're gonna end up gravitating towards. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. But yes, I now I'm fully stocked up for a really good week of fantastic eating. Uh, right, and let's figure out what we're gonna have for lunch. I'm thinking, I'm thinking ice cream and pizza. Is that excessive? I don't know, I really want, I, I'm gonna have them both. They're, they're small pizzas because they're the quinoa wraps and I've only got two left. So ice cream and pizza, let's do this. Okay, guys, <clears throat> so I'm outside because it's very noisy indoors. Um, anyway, I have whipped up a lovely batch of pizza. <clears throat> so these are my little quinoa wraps. And one of them is like a half one because he baked some yesterday and decided he didn't like it on its own plane. So anyway, I've just jazzed it up. I've got my tomato puree. I have crisped them a little too much. Got my cheese sauce. I did some garlic salt, oregano, and some tomatoes. And I'm just having a big side salad. Um, and I'm eating a carrot as I was making it. Anyway, so this is going to be my massive lunch feast this evening. Um, not this evening, this afternoon. And now I'm about to whip up some protein fluff, so let's go do that. So just in the kitchen, and Romy and I have been trying to create protein fluff, and I'm failing miserably. I've currently got some weird squidgy protein blob. I don't think this is fluff, and it's been on for ages. I just think it's not happening. Also, it does not taste good. I mean, I don't know if it's meant to taste like this. I have no idea. I'm using this protein powder, which... I used to quite like the taste of it, but I haven't used it in ages, so I don't know if I still like the flavour. But no, I think this is not a good one. <clears throat> but I wonder if I could recreate um, a healthier version with some aquafaba or something. So from uh, when I cooked the chickpeas, I've just put some of the chickpea water aside. Um, and I might tr try my hand at a little aquafaba version. But I'm not too sure how that's going to go, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. But that was an epic fail, and I'm going to throw it in the bin because it is disgusting. Anyway, I finished my pizza. I put all the salad on each pizza and ate it like a little taco thing. And it was so, so delicious. I'm going to make some more quinoa wraps because that was incredible. I've still got half my carrot to eat. Um, but Romy was very squeaky, so I couldn't really eat it. And we're about to go out for a lovely... Well, she's just eating a little rice cake. We're about to go out for a nice little walk before we go and pick Abe up. So we're going to do that, get some fresh air because we've been cooped inside most of the day. Mwah! And um, And yeah, so I'll chat to you later. But tonight... We are having mash, broccoli and gravy, which I'm very excited about because that mash yesterday with these potatoes was to die for. I'm going to make so much mash. It's ridiculous. Okay, so just out on a little walk and I was just thinking about something. I realised I was actually really decently full. Sorry, it's a bit windy. After my quinoa wraps, I was expecting to be a bit hungry, but the volume from the veggies was incredible. I was just having a little think about how much starch there was actually in there. I just did a little bit of maths. And so there was only like 
200 calories of quinoa in there because I had one and a half cups of quinoa, that, of dry quinoa that I used to make about 12 wraps. <clears throat> and I had about two and a half wraps. Um, so it was literally like a couple of hundred calories from the quinoa wraps and then everything else was, was vegetables. So there was the squeezy tomato stuff, there was the cauliflower cheese sauce, which is literally just cauliflower, blended up with some a little bit of like plant milk and nooch and stuff. Um, then I did mushrooms and I had some tomatoes and a big fat salad. So that is so low calorie density. When you look at the volume of food that you get to eat and also how delicious it was, it's incredible when you get creative you can make meals that I mean that might have been definitely a bit too low on the starchy front but I'm not feeling hungry um I don't know why I think my breakfast was quite large um so anyway I'm not feeling that hungry so but I just wanted to share with you what that actually adds up to it's so minimal in terms of um calories and calorie density so you really can eat incredible portions if you want and I mean I could have had like four or five of those quinoa wraps into pizzas if I'd wanted to. Mm, anyway, so I just thought that was worth sharing. So this is next day editing Amy. <clears throat> I just wanted to say by no means should you be aiming for like two or 300 calories from your starch. You should definitely be getting more in. I just wanted to give you a representation as to how low calorie density that whole bowl was. Um, if I was gonna have that as a meal, on its own, on any regular given day, I would have like double, triple the quantity. And I just wanted to say, that is not a good amount of calories to eat on a regular basis, because you will get starving. So don't just load yourself up on veggies and neglect the starch. Always include lots of starch. I had a lot of starch breakfast yesterday, which is why I probably wasn't super hungry for lunch. Um, and I definitely could have had more if I was hungry, if I wanted it to, um, yeah, if I wanted to. So um, yeah, by all means, please aim for more starch. I don't want to, I don't want to be spreading that you don't need to have starch in your life because you most certainly do get loads of starch and loads of veggies. The combination is incredible. But yeah, veggies for the win. Veggies are incredible. They give you that bulk. If you're not eating loads and loads of veggies in every single meal and you're struggling to see weight loss, that could be where you are um, having your issue. So try and get in as, pack in as many vegetables into each meal and also learn to love your veggies as much as humanly possible because veggies... Once you start eating them daily, you will fall in love with them, I promise. Hello, hello, back from the school run and I am doing dinner. We've just been chilling and chatting for a little bit. Me and the kiddos, I'll show you what I've got going on. I've got my mushroom gravy, which is basically just mushroom, soy sauce and garlic so far. Then I add the other stuff um, like water, cornstarch, some stock, all those things. I have got one gigantic head of broccoli and another couple of broccolis. I'll eat one and everyone else will eat one. And then I've got loads of these potatoes to make the creamiest mash in the actual universe. I'm so excited about these potatoes. I might have to make more because I'm going to eat a lot of potato tonight. I'm really excited. Anyway, so that's what we've got going on for dinner this evening. I just wanted to share that. And I also saved a bit of this aquifer because I really wanted to make like something fluffy. And apparently you can do it in a food processor. And I've never made aquafaba stuff before um so i thought that could be quite fun to experiment with but i don't really know what i'm doing so um i'm just gonna i'm gonna wing it i might do that when the kids are in bed so i've got some time to and some headspace to actually think about it properly but anyway that's my plan i'll show you my dinner uh when i eat it i'm really hungry yay the kids are eating i am very hungry so i've asked james to come down he generally works until until they need to eat some food <laughs> um oh so this is basically the most delicious mash in the entire universe and I could eat this entire thing if I wasn't careful. Mm. <laughs> what makes it even better is the mushroom gravy because this stuff is on fire. I know it doesn't look like much, I know that, but you have to close your eyes and imagine the taste because it is incredible. And my head's of broccoli here. I've been snacking on bro broccoli with Romy. To, um, she wasn't really in the mood for her broccoli today for some reason, and when she usually loves it. So I thought if I encouraged her, um, I thought it would encourage her to keep snacking her broccoli. If I ate my broccoli and I was totally right, I got out of the broccoli, and I was like, mmm, broccoli, then she was like, I'm oh, shoving it in her face. So that is a fantastic way to encourage kids to eat their fruits and veggies, is for them to see you eat your fruits and veggies. You can't expect them to eat stuff that you wouldn't eat yourself. Um, Anyway, so it's all ready. I've also been snacking on a few little chickpeas because it's in front of me. Yes, I should have got some carrots or cucumbers out, but the chickpeas were actually yummy and I don't feel like I've had a lot of bean in the second half of the day, so it was good. Okay, okay, okay. I want to show you my mega gigantic feast that I'm so excited about. 
Oh my gosh, I, I like, I know it's crazy and I keep on saying this, but it really does blow my mind how much food you get to eat. Oh, look at that, everybody, look at that. Okay, so we have a mountain of food. Firstly, so much mash in there, like a ridiculous amount, it's also hiding underneath. And then I've like pounded the broccoli in so as much as I could fit in. And then this gravy just smothered all over the top. I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. Oh. Hello, Romy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and eat this. Um, uh, and the reason why I've got so much in here is because I know I'm going to be doing a mega bouncing workout later, which I'm very excited about. And so I don't want to be hungry after that. So I want to make sure I get in loads of food beforehand. However, I am going to try my best, obviously, to listen to my hunger fullness cues. I'm going to eat my broccoli dipped in gravy first and then move on to my mash. Um, and then see how I feel. And if I'm not hungry, then I'll stop. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is my plan. And this is my dinner. So I'm going to go and eat. <laughs> Hello, hello everybody. So it's about nine o'clock at night <clears throat> and I wanted a quick update. I've just been working and doing lots of fun stuff. Um, I wanted to quickly show you what I left for dinner. I ate until I was probably slightly over feeling satisfied, but it was so darn delicious I couldn't help myself and it's potatoes. So anyway, but I did leave some on my plate because I didn't feel like I needed that and I've also got some leftover tomorrow. Although, no, James hasn't eaten yet. Muffins. That means he's going to eat that. That's all right. I can make myself some more mash tomorrow because it was so delicious. <clears throat> but I just wanted to quickly hop on and say, I'm going to go and do a rebounding session now. It's so funny. I got changed into my snuggly outfit. And shame on me. I don't know why I did that. I, you'd think I'd learn from my past experiences, but I clearly don't. So anyway, I was walking around just feeling really snuggly and not really fancying a workout. <clears throat> then I was like, come on, Amy, just go and get your gear on. So I walked upstairs, put this on. Now I'm in my workout gear. I'm really in the mood for a nice workout and I'm super excited to bounce. Isn't that so funny? Your mind is a strange place. <clears throat> so just tell yourself to do one little step at a time and you can kind of get there. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was amusing because five minutes ago, wasn't in the mood in the slightest. <clears throat> anyway, somebody recommended a YouTube channel for rebounding for me to check out. So I'm gonna go and check that out now um, and do some lovely rebounding. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna to go to bed because I'm also a bit knackered. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lovely video. I'm excited to catch up with you guys again tomorrow. I was thinking about doing something quite fun, like I've never done before. Basically, I was, I'm into this pizza vibe. I really enjoyed my pizza for lunch. I was thinking, hmm, I'd quite like some more pizza tomorrow, but I, don't really want to make some more wraps. And I thought, well, what could I do? And then I was wandering into the kitchen and I saw that I had loads of chickpeas. I made like a massive batch. There's some there and there's some there. And I thought, well, what about a chickpea pizza? Didn't, I mean, <clears throat> I had a quick look for chickpea pizzas and they're all with chickpea flour. But I wonder if I could do an actual chickpea pizza. You can do a mashed potato pizza, so you must be able to do a chickpea pizza. So stay tuned for a chickpea pizza adventure with me. Anyway, have a nice one. See you later.